<laughs> it's not a monkey, little kitty. It is a Homo erectus, one of the ancestors of modern humans. Oh, my bad. No worries, little kitty. Wait a minute. You gave me an idea for today's topic. Hey, friends. So, in today's episode, let me tell you the story of you. Yes, you the humans and answer a fundamental question. Where did humans come from? Zoom in! The human evolution started nearly 7 million years ago when the human genealogy separated from the chimpanzees. And as the time passed by, over 20 human species or hominin originated under the lead of extraordinary humankind. But most of them went extinct, while those who survived might have been ancestors of modern humans. These survivors displayed various human-like psychological, behavioral and physical characteristics such as large brains, the ability to walk on two legs, small teeth, and the skill to carve and use tools and weapons. These smart creatures fell into three primary groups, namely early hominins, australopithecines, and the Homo genus. The early hominins are believed to exist between 7 to 4.4 million years ago in the great African continent. And these species displayed a mixture of ape and human characteristics like small teeth that were used for eating instead of hunting and fighting. The next stage of human evolution consists of primates called Australopithecines that lived somewhere between 4.4 to 1.4 million years ago all across Africa. Even these species showed many ape-like features but as time passed by, their skull, spine and legs began to evolve more like today's humans, which allowed them to walk on their feet effortlessly. And the last phase of human evolution involves the Homo genus family that are believed to come into existence around 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago. These species could have possibly evolved from the Australopithecine lineage. But unlike Australopithecines, who were the combination of apes and humans, the Homo species were becoming more like modern-day humans as their inner skull size was growing larger than other species. And they made the most out of their larger brains by developing hunting techniques with the help of better tools. And they were the first species to utilize the burning capacity of fire. But they didn't just stop there. These improvements in physical, mental and behavioral characteristics combined with advanced technologies allowed them to migrate out of Africa and explore the other parts of the world. So my friends, although more than 20 species of humans started their incredible journey on Earth, in the end, only one, the Homo sapiens, managed to survive the obstacles and hurdles in front of them and they went on to shape the world and made progress that no other living being can ever think of. But the vital question is, have humans and apes stopped evolving? Well, the answer is no. Humans are still evolving, but the difference is, now the evolution is driven as much by our culture and the technology we've invented as by our biology. And even other animals, including the apes, are also continuing to evolve in response to the enormous changes in their environment that humans have made. 
So you never know, millions of years from now, we might look completely different than what we look today. All we can do is hope that it looks pretty. Trivia time! Did you know you may be part Neanderthal species? Yes, a certain genetic of Neanderthal bones showed that there are some Neanderthal genes that have made their way into modern non-African populations. Also, it is believed that humans navigated the Indian Ocean in small boats, probably lashed together out of reeds 50,000 years ago. Wow! Now that takes some serious courage! Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.